Is it in your room? Did you mention that? I don't do anything. Why are you Bro, oh, thank you for this time right now. I really appreciate it.
Hello, friends. Welcome back to our last day of playing with magnets. I'm super excited because we're playing with magnets today and we're also making a fun circuit project. It's going to be kind of a free build circuit project, but we'll go through how to get that LED lit up in whatever spot you want. And we are being super creative. So we're going to put on our maker hats today and you can build whatever you want. I initially thought that I would be building sort of like the house and up with the balloons and the house that could go. But then I got some inspiration this week from Miss Clara and I think I'm going to do a little fairy scene instead. So I'm really excited about that. I'm going to go over the stuff we need to make the project and then we'll get to our hellos and we'll start building. So to start, I wanted to go really easy. I've got sort of this great box that's already kind of ready for me to build inside of. I'll just cut the front off. You could either make a box out of, you know, some paper, cardboard, or you could grab a cereal box or something from your recycling bin. And the reason why I wanted a box is because I'm gonna put some magnets up here and it's gonna make things down here float. So if you just wanna use paper, it's gonna be a little bit more tricky to get that stuff kind of levitating if you don't have like a roof to whatever you're doing. So I'm using just a box from our recycling bin. To make something levitate, I'm gonna use floss, but maybe you have some thin sewing thread, which would also work really well. I've got copper tape, because I wanna make that LED light up. I've got plain tape, because I probably, whenever I build stuff, I want to have something to put things together with. I have a pencil, because I'm gonna draw out my plan. I've got scissors for whatever I might need them for. I have magnets to make my stuff levitate. And then I have something that's attracted to the magnet, so I have some safety pins but you might have some paper clips or something like that, but something that's attracted to those magnets. Um, and then I've got a battery, just a coin cell battery and an LED. And we can always check that these light up for us. Um, and that's all we need. Oh, I've got my glue gun too. My trusty old glue gun, which I absolutely love. And paper and markers, that's all we got. So some art stuff and some building stuff and we're gonna make a fun little thing whatever you guys want to make. Maybe that's a volcano that's going to light up and have a dinosaur scene. Maybe that's a movie scene. Maybe it's something from Zelda. Maybe it's a Mario Brothers. Maybe it's a Captain America. Maybe it's a fairy. Maybe it's a unicorn. It's all going to be up to you guys. And I'll show you how to make it sort of look the way you want. And then you guys will take it away and make it exactly what you want. So let's see who we have with us today. So first up in this day of Tough technical difficulties. Oh, tough technical difficulties Sorry, are the worst. The um, worst. But we got it to work, so give us a thumbs up for that. Yay! It is Miss Kelly. Hello, Kelly. It's great to see you. And for our families who are on YouTube but don't want their kids on YouTube, you can join Kelly over in Zoom. Because I'm pretty sure Callie's in Zoom. She's definitely in Zoom. Yeah. And Along. if you want access, oh, sorry. If you want access into our Zoom classroom, it's at patreon.com slash Rosie Research. So you don't have to be on YouTube. And uh, who else do we have? We got Anna and Clara. It looks Yay! Like Hello, Anna, Anna and Clara. There. I don't see Clara. But, well, oh, well, I was, I'm excited that you guys that are here is. today. Yes, she is. Because, Clara, you are definitely my inspiration for today. <gasps> You've inspired me. So I'm really excited. I'm glad that you girls are here today. And then we have Mr. George. Oh, no. George and Henry, I can't wait to see what you boys make. And about that. Kaya says, hello, and this just says, from Kaya, question mark. So oh. maybe it's the other Kaya, the one that gets put on the back screen. Oh, yes, maybe it's like virtual Kaya. Mm. Ka There's two Kayas, and There's it can definitely. be tricky. Well, virtual. hello, virtual Kaya and Kaya. We'll and say hi to Paul. Naomi is in the house. Hello, Naomi, how are you today? She says, thank God it's Friday. Oh. Uh, I am feeling you on that. I am ready for a weekend. I can't wait for the weekend. I'm going to read a book this weekend, I think. Just cover just to read. cover. Just read. Straight up read. I can't wait. We got Rohan. Hello, Rohan. Oh, I'm glad you're here too. Yay. And I see Can't Micah. wait to see what you make. Hello, Micah. Welcome to the party. And there's Mr. Abel. Hello, Abel. Oh, I'm glad you're here with us today. And, and we got Griffin. Griffin! Hello, Griffin. Oh, I'm so excited you're joining us. It's been a it's like been a week since we've seen you. Hopefully your hair is still green and maybe maybe it's a different color though. I don't know, maybe you want to find out on Zoom, maybe. Yeah. Um, do we have any words of encouragement for people who are 
struggling. Oh yeah. We're going to struggle. With you the guys will, are going to struggle. Don't worry. Right. We always do our best to make it work. Sometimes it doesn't work right off the bat. Right. And that's just life in general. So we all fail. I fail all the time. It doesn't look like I fail while I'm on YouTube with you guys, but that's because I've failed at so many things so often that I've gotten much better at making these littler things succeed the first time. But you guys still have a whole bunch of failure in front of you. That's what makes a really good scientist. So, and a really good human, to be honest, is going through a whole bunch of failure. So when it doesn't work, that's fine. We will work with you to get it to work. All right, so don't, don't worry too much about that. We've done a really good job for a lot of our projects. Some of them we've, like Rohan had this amazing project and we couldn't figure out why it wouldn't work. And I'm still, Rohan, it still perplexes me why that one didn't work. But we try to do a really good job getting everybody, their stuff working. And this is gonna be an LED and a battery, which can be tricky, but we have a really good success record. So don't worry too much. A lot of art too, so make sure that you are doing your art the way you want to do your art and not worrying so much about getting everything specifically. We will not have the same projects. I hope we don't have the same projects. Yeah. Because that's what makes this world great is when we all have different art to bring to the table. When it's diverse. Mm-hmm, when it is diverse. Um, we have Lila. Hello, Lila, and probably Millie. It's good to see you guys. Lila, uh, I feel like you and Millie might like what we're gonna make. We're gonna do some fairies today. But again, you don't have to do fairies. You could totally do whatever else you want. Yeah, our job is to get you the circuit working, but you mm -hmm. guys are in charge of decorating. Your job is to make it cool. Your job is to make it amazing. True story. Um, and I have very high expectations because I've seen what you guys build. So I have pretty high expectations for like when we go over to Zoom and I see your projects. High expectations, guys. Very high. I am <laughs> very, very high. They're very, very high. I mean, like, George, I know what you can make. So I'm expecting like greatness on whatever it is you decide to make because. He's and, a builder, and Griffin's a builder. Like, we're all builders. And I know Callie is going to push and push and push until mm -hmm. hers works. True story. And I know Claire and Anna are going to come up with some sweet, amazing mm -hmm. little things. I cannot wait to see what everybody makes. I can't right. wait. It's going to be fun. I'm excited. Wait the party. The biggest point there is keep working on it. Keep working on it. Don't give up. True. This is yep. a not give up kind of activity. Mm -hmm. And it's an art thing, so. Yeah. And there's a lot of ways. If you're like, you know what? The circuit's not for me. You can still do the magnet part. The magnet part's not for you. You can still do the circuit part. You could combine the two like I'm going to today. Up to you. If you need extra Choose help, your own adventure. come over to Zoom. I'm, it's yep. open. Yep, we're all in Also, Zoom. Mr. Elliot is here. Hi, Elliot. Ooh, I'm excited to see what you make today, too. Oh, yeah, he's got some serious stuff. Yeah. All right. All right, should we get started? Okay, so today for our paper circuits, we're going to combine circuits with magnets, but they're going to be very individual. So... The first thing I always do when I am making a big project is I like to make a drawing, just so I kind of know what I'm gonna do. Especially because I had an idea last week about what I wanted to do, and then I got inspired by Clara. So I have to change my idea. So, so people will need a pencil and a piece of yeah, paper? Yeah, a pencil right and a piece of paper, and all you're gonna do to start off, like I have a square box, I'm just gonna draw my square box to see. And you know what, I'm realizing maybe I should do this in Sharpie so that you guys can see it better. And I'll just have to commit to everything. We'll just commit. Is that better? Might not uh, be. A little bit. It's not a very dark Sharpie. Yeah. I'll find you. Evan's going to find me a dark Sharpie. But this is just to make a plan. So I want to make a plan of what I'm going to do. And I know I want some fairies that are going to be flying around in my thing. Because, I mean, honestly, what's the point of making a fairy land if I don't have fairies? You could have something else flying around. You don't need to have something flying around if you don't want to. But the way that we're gonna make it fly is I'm gonna add some like magnets up here. And then I'm gonna have something taped down like this. And I'll have like a little, I've got safety pins, but you might have paper clips. And then I could put on like a fairy person on top of this. And they have a very funny head right now, but that's okay. My drawing doesn't have to be perfect. Maybe I want more than one fairy. I could have two fairies. I could put another stack here. And if you don't want to do fairies, maybe you do a Super Mario. And maybe that is what it's going to be. I'm just going to put an F for fairy right here. I think it might be helpful if you hold the box next mm. to you so you can Yeah, say, here's my box. So the string is going to be attached to the bottom? Yep, the string will be down here. And my magnets are going to be up here. So this is my top, and the string is going to get taped 
right down here at the bottom. And then the magnets are gonna attract the um, my safety pins or your paper clips, and it's gonna make these guys sort of fly. And I'm gonna probably cover this with something. I might cut out some grass that goes like this, so whoever's looking can't see. And maybe I'll put some grass here. And since fairies are really small, maybe I put some big blades of grass in there like that, I don't know. But I also want something to light up. And I was thinking about this yesterday. I kind of want to make like a magical rock. So I'm going to have like some cool rock over here. And it's going to have, I'm going to poke some holes in my rock, I think, so that I can put an LED behind it and it will sort of light up through those holes. So that'll be like just this magical rock. I have a rainbow LED. So it's gonna be all different colors in my rock. So that's why I decided I wanna make light up. But you can make all sorts of different things light up, right? You could make a car light up if you wanted to. If you wanted to do Super Mario, you could have like a light that was like the little question box thing that you punch. There's lots of things you could make light up. So you get to choose. If I could suggest maybe making those strings a different color, Ooh. and then also drawing okay. the three D shape of the box. Here, Just those lines got. Let's. We have a whole bunch of markers. Let's redo this again. I'm going to make my box. Let's make my box out of blue since I have sort of a blue box right now. And I'm going to put some magnets make, on the top. Oh. Make the box three D. Oh, make the box three D. Okay, here we go. Sorry, team. Here we go. We're going. 3D, shoot, like that. All right, here's my box. I'm gonna put some magnets on the top of my box, like this. They're also 3D now, so that they can attract some fairies. So those are gonna be two sets of magnets. And I to attach my fairies, I'm gonna attach a string to the bottom of the box, and then, whoops, on that string is going to be like either a paper clip or a safety pin or something that's attracted to that magnet like that. And then I'm going to draw a fairy on top of a piece of paper so that it'll hide it. So here's my little fairy, my happy little fairy right now. Like that. I don't know. I think fairies might have to, fairies have wings. There we go. There she is. And maybe my fairy wants a friend, so I could put another string over here like that. And I'll end up with another paper clip. And I'll have to draw a, another fairy for on top. My fairies are so happy. They look a little bit like angels, but they're definitely fairies. And then Inside this box, I'm also going to put a cool rock. My rock will be probably out of cardboard, I think. So I'm gonna make this like big thing out of cardboard, like a crumple, and I'm gonna poke holes in it so that light can get through. So my, I'm gonna put my, I'll draw my LED in for you guys. My LED is gonna be like in this corner. What? I can't do this, there we go like that, and then maybe I put my battery out here if I wanna have like a nice little spot. So I know that I do need to attach somehow the legs of the battery, we're gonna use a different color as copper tape. We need one leg, the short leg goes to the bottom. Oop, that one doesn't work. Let's see, I don't have a coppery color, but the short leg will go to the bottom of the battery like always. And the long leg will go to the top of the battery to light it up. We'll do it in this color. Like this, because we don't want them to touch, remember? So then they'll be on, and when it's on, I'm going to have holes poked in that. So I'm just making a plan of what I want to do. So I'm going to have holes poking in it. I'm trying to look for a color that's maybe not quite used yet. That will make sort of bright little things coming out. So the... LED that you're showing there is actually inside of your crumple. Yes, it's inside. I've got this like, this is kind of all over it. It's going to be hidden. But if I were to look inside, it would have that little LED guy in there. That's going to be so pretty. I know. I'm really excited. And then, like I said earlier, I'm going to hide some of this stuff because I like to be really secretive about how things are working. So I'm going to probably cut some grass like that. And then I want to hide these guys. So I might cut some more grass because fairies are really small. So we could have 
sort of grass. I can make a flower come out here maybe if I wanted to. Or I probably won't do this on all on YouTube, but these are things that I could add. I could add like a cloud or a sun. We have all sorts Allie of ideas. Says that she's gonna make a dragon with fire breath. And yes. A rainbow. That's amazing. Yes. I could make some fog. If I had cotton, I could make some fog come in. LED cool. fire breath. All right. Wow. So I have a plan, and it sounds like Callie has a plan, um, which is amazing because now we can think about, ooh, how are we going to make it? So here's my plan. I'm gonna keep my plan out for myself so that I can keep looking at it. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm gonna cut this box so that I actually have something. Like this is all blocking it and I didn't want that. So I'm gonna cut this part out right here. Just like this. So that I have sort of a nice little diorama shape and then I can use this for another part of my project. So for example, I could use this to make that cardboard glowing magical rock that I want. I'm gonna cut this guy out right here. Just like this. And I'm noticing that my box is falling apart just a little bit as I'm doing this. And that's okay. I'm not gonna worry about it quite yet because I can fix that with some tape. Okay? That's like a thing that could maybe derail you if you let it, but we shouldn't let little things like that derail us. We can fix that problem pretty easily. And that's just a little bit of tape. So I'm cutting the top part off. And this part is like totally fallen. But I could even if I wanted to actually make it like that. But I really want a box. So I'm going to add some hot glue right here so that it is stuck together. My box is nice and sturdy. And I have a good starting point for it. So let's see, I need to glue these little flaps down. So just a little bit of glue. And I'll press it. So if your box has fallen apart or it's not the way you want it to be, you can do that. You can cut it, you can break it a little bit so that you can put it back the way you want it. All right, so now I've got this beautiful box. I've got a rip right here. If that bothers me, I could take a piece of tape like this. And I could just tape over this piece like that to like give it a little bit more stiffness, hook them together because I want to sort of color in a lot of stuff. All right, so now I think I'm gonna work on my fairies first. And my fairies are the part, whatever part you've decided you want to be sort of flying in the air. So I'm gonna take a few of these magnets here. I could glue them on, but if I want to get these magnets out easily, what I could also do is actually just put a magnet on the other side, like that. And then they are kind of stuck together because they're attracting themselves through that area. Can you tilt the box back a little bit so we can that. see? No, the other way. Other way. So you see how they're- Yes, yeah, so I have one magnet on the inside, and then I have a bunch of magnets on the outside, and they're stuck together. I could do that, or if I wanted to, I could also just glue them on the top to keep them in one spot. But what's kind of cool, and what we could try to play with, is if I do it like this, where there's one on each side, I can actually move that magnet around on the inside. So maybe I can make my fairies you can make like a fairy puppet fly show. and move around. Well, that's kind of a bonus. To me, that's a bonus. But for some people, that might not be a bonus. Maybe gluing it down is a bonus. That's sort of totally up to you. All right. So now to make my fairy fly, I need some string or dental floss. All right. And then whatever is magnetic that we're going to attract up here. So right now, I can have a paper clip that is attracted to the top, right? And I need to make sure that my string is long enough to go from that paper clip all the way down and then some, because what I'm gonna do first is tie this to the string. So first I'm gonna tie my string around my, um, my safety pin, but maybe you have a paper clip or something like that. I like to just do the wrap around the finger with both strands and tie it. I find that a little easier, but you might wanna just do your basic knot, like when you're tying your shoes. That kind of knot will work too. There's no right or wrong knot to use here. And then I can do that. And I've got this great thing where now I can pull on this, which is pretty great, right? And if I'm at just the right height, I don't actually have to be touching this. I could be just hovering in thin air, which is pretty neat. 
So that's pretty cool. If you want it to be stronger, you could add more magnets up here. Or you could add some magnets on the inside too. Maybe you're like, oh, maybe it's not what I want. Maybe I want to add magnets on both sides. That's totally fine. So the way that we make this hover is you kind of want to stick it there. And you're just going to take a little tiny bit extra off. So I'm just going to kind of move my finger down. And you see how it just started hovering? Now it's like hanging out in thin air. And we can sort of move it around if we wanted to, side to side, like that. And wherever I find that I like it, I'm going to put a piece of tape here. And I could maybe make it grow a little bit longer if I wanted to. Or I could pull the string down here and make it a little shorter. But wherever you find out that spot, we're going to just tape it down. So I'm going to grab a piece of tape. If I were to let go right now, it's going to fling right up to that magnet so it won't stay. And if I pull down too far, it is going to just fall. So you got to have just the right spot. So this is going to be my spot. All right, like this. And I'm actually, it got a little bit too long when I taped it because I taped it behind my finger, which is okay. I'll just grab another piece of tape right here. And I can, again, pull it down a little bit more. This time I'm going to push it down with the tape a little, just like that. Let's see, am I touching? Nope. It's hanging out straight up and down. Fantastic. That's just what I want. Now, whatever we put on this paper clip, needs to be pretty light because there's a magnetic force going up, but if it's too heavy, it's gonna the, the magnetic force is not gonna be strong enough to hold it up. So we wanna make sure that whatever we make our fairies on or our dragons on is pretty light. If you're making a really big dragon, maybe Callie's gonna make a big dragon, you could actually put sort of three paper clips to put your dragon across the three to hold the weight even better. So that's totally an option. But I definitely have one fairy that's ready to go. And if I want to, I can pull down on this. And it's okay because anytime I want it to fly, I just stick it right back it's up so there. Cool. Isn't that neat? So maybe here is when I'm gonna add my fairies. And it's gonna take a little bit of, of um, what do I wanna say, finagling. It's gonna take a little bit of trying and practicing as we get that fairy on and add the extra weight. But that is ready to go. So now I need a fairy. Yeah. Maybe describe exactly what each part of that is real quick. All right. So we have the string that is coming from the bottom. I taped the string in to the bottom. That's what's holding it and preventing that safety pin from getting to the magnets. All right. So I have a string taped into the bottom. And then the string is tied to our safety pin. And it then it could also be a paper clip. Right? Could be a paper clip. It could be a nail. It could be anything small and metal and light that is attracted to a magnet. So not like a coin, because coins are not attracted to magnets. Um, so, and you'll notice I can even put something through there. Um, and then I've got my magnets on the top. And I put some magnets on both sides, which is totally fine. And that lets me sort of move it around. If I want to move this around, I have this cool way to move my fairy. And my fairy can fly. That makes me happy. I love it. Me too. All right. So now, I think, so I could either make the fairy now, but I feel like you guys are all making different things. So I think I might make that maybe over in Zoom. I need to light this up too. So the other part that I need to do is to light it up. And I, and my plan, if you notice, I have my fairies and then I have this rock that's in this corner. So I'm planning to put a rock over in this corner. I was planning to make it out of cardboard. So I might just sort of, Get a little cardboard plan going on here, like that. And I want it to maybe come in, let's see, how do I want my rock to look? I'm not sure. I don't know, maybe I want it to come sort of just maybe from here, maybe I just need one thing. I could do it with just one piece maybe. That could be neat, like against the corner. Hmm. I'm sort of changing my mind on what I'm doing. That's totally okay. All right. It's totally fine to change your mind. You could also change your mind and be like, that's not what I wanted. I wanted, maybe I want this guy. Oh, they don't come out like the way I'd like them to, to be honest. I'd like them to come out that way. But then I have somebody's hands. I don't like that. So let's see. I could have it come out. I think I'm going to do this. I think I'm going to have it come out like this. And then maybe I'll put in a strip, how would this fit in? Let's see. Yeah, I think I could fit that like that. 
And then let's see, let's do, I'm just gonna sort of guest cut because I'm gonna end up taping this together like that. And I've got sort of the square here, which could be perfect because my stuff could come out where that would be my button. That could be exactly what I want. I'm gonna tape these two together. I'm gonna make this a straighter line to tape them together and make it easier like that. This is great like geometric thinking right now. All right, so I can now put these guys in. Wait, I thought it was the other way. There we go, let's see. Nope, nope, which way did I have it? I had it this way. Well, let's see. We'll put it like that. That looks good to me, that's gonna be a cool rock. I did that, maybe we'll cover this up. Good question. Yeah. Um, Naomi would like to know if she does a circus wire figure doing somersaults in the air, does she need to do an electromagnet? Mm, you want it to actually somersault. Yeah. Ooh, Naomi, this is tricky. Might, that might be a zoom troubleshoot. Yeah, I don't know if I have a great way to make them wind because we're holding it on a string and then we would wind the string too. Yeah, because you'd have to balance it in between. Yeah. I think you should make different parts of the somersault. She could create like a magnet base and then have her somersaulting thing float above the base. Mm -hmm. So it wouldn't be, the magnet wouldn't be pulling from the top. It might be pushing from below. Yeah, I don't, I'm not sure if I have like a great plan for that. Just because you're now rotating at the same time, you're gonna like, you have a string attached. That's always really tricky. So I would maybe choose like one spot in the somersault to do as a starter. One really good thing is always start like a little bit small and then add so that you don't get really frustrated. If she had two strings and she had it somersaulting in between the two strings, like hmm. rotating in like on a pivot. Yes. She says never mind. <laughs> there, there might be a way to do this, but I'm I don't have it off the top of my head. I'm actually while we're having this conversation, I put the, the rock in like this, and I actually really like that. One thing I haven't done is I really wanted to poke holes in my rock because I didn't want the whole thing to light up. I just wanted like it to like glimmer. So I'm gonna poke holes in it. And that's one way to make it sort of glimmer. If you want something really bright, you could just have the LED out. You could put a piece of paper in front of the LED. If you want it to sort of be backlit, you could put cotton balls over it if you wanna make sort of like an, a bright cloud. There's all different ways to make the light look a little different. And today what I'm planning on doing is making my light look different by poking all these holes in this rock. So the rock will sort of like, it won't be like a bright rock. It'll sort of have like maybe magical mushrooms on it. You know, like the fairies have those like, and fireflies and all sorts of like little tiny magical things because maybe it's nighttime in mine. So I'm just gonna poke some holes. And of course you wanna be careful if you're poking holes too. You can always hurt yourself poking your holes through cardboard and whatnot. I'm gonna make a bunch, and I can show you guys. You might be able to see it. It's gonna look really cool in the dark, but it might not look as cool sort of in broad daylight. You might be able to turn off the lights. But we'll see. I'm gonna just poke some holes here. Get them all poked in. So you gotta decide what do you want to light up? And where will that be in your box? Because that's gonna also determine how we wire stuff up. All right, so I've got this guy, and if I were to put in my lights, you can kind of see how it's gonna come through, oops, through some of these little holes. So it's not super bright. I'm not sure, we'll have to have Evan tell us if you can see it coming through some of these holes. But in the dark, you'll see it much better. We'll have some really great holes in the dark. You guys see that coming through my holes? Sort of a cool glitter effect. Mm, yeah. So that's how I want my rock to look. And now I've got a rock piece. I know where I'm gonna put it. I'm gonna put it over here. And notice my friends, my paper clip fell down. I'm not worried about it. I'm gonna deal with that later. I'm not worried about that at all. So here's my, where my rock is gonna be. I actually have, this is gonna be cool. It's gonna shine out the top actually. So I want my LED to sit back here, right? And I need to do a couple things for my LED. I don't want to have to put it around here and then shove that in each time. I want to have like a switch. So we're gonna use the copper tape 
to extend the legs of those LEDs. So I'm gonna basically use two pieces of copper tape to make really long LED legs, which gives those electrons a really great highway to travel on. So if I wanna put my LED in the back corner, I can have my push button right up here. And what I can do is just do two straight lines. So I'm gonna do one straight line. They're gonna look like a railroad track lines, pretty much. So I'm just gonna do one line that goes from the back to the front of my box. And this is gonna be wherever I want to put my, um, my LED at. So if you wanted your LED over here, you would do back to front on this side. All right, so I'm just doing back to front. We're gonna put another one right next to it. So just two lines of copper tape. And we're gonna make this work with just two lines of copper tape. This is gonna be super tricky, I know, because normally we have these great templates to go off of, but it's really hard to make a circuit template on something that's gonna be really creative like this. So this is a great way to learn how to, what we call freestyle your project. All right, so I have two straight lines over here, just like this. They're right next to each other. They're like little railroad tracks. All right, and then you're gonna decide which one's the short leg and which one's the long leg. There's no right answer. There's no wrong answer. Because once you know it, you'll be able to just put your LED in the right way. I'm gonna make the one closer to the wall, my short leg, and the one further from my wall, the long leg. So that's gonna be my short leg, and that's gonna be my long leg. So I'm gonna put my battery on top of what's my short leg, but you might notice something, and that's the bottom of the battery touches both of my railroad wires. That's not good, because then I can't get to the top, right? So I don't wanna to touch both. So the way we can fix that, you don't even have to do very much. Are you ready? This is a great trick. Since I know which one's my long leg that needs to go to the top, this one on the inside right here, I'm gonna take a little piece of tape and I'm just gonna cover that up so it can't touch that battery. Just a little piece, not super long, just a little piece. Hold it there. And that's gonna allow me to put the battery in and only touch one of the legs. Are you sure where the battery other. goes in? So the battery's gonna go in right like this, just like that. All right, so it's just gonna touch one line of copper tape. And if it was gonna touch two, I just use a little tiny piece of masking tape to cover up the other piece. All right, and then I can actually just tape my battery in. And remember, when we tape our batteries in, we need to make sure that we leave part of the top of that battery so that we can actually touch it to create the full circuit. If we cover the whole top, masking tape is not conductive, which is great, that's why we used it right there but it's not conductive, so it won't help us in lighting it up if it's all over the top. So I'm gonna just tape this guy down here, and I can even tape it down around the edge if I'm worried about it falling out. So I have it, and it looks like this. I just put two little pieces of tape, but notice there's still silver. I can still see silver on the battery. If you're using clear scotch shape, make sure there's still a part that has no tape on it. And then the way that we will use a switch is we'll just use a piece of copper tape that will touch from the other line we covered up to the top of the battery. So just like this. Just a little piece of copper tape flipped over that will touch from the other line to the battery. There you go, a little bit. All right. And that's all I'm gonna need. And I can press this down when I want it or I can pull it up when I don't we'll have this great little switch right there. Do you think, is there a way to test the LED at this point? Yes, there is a way. So what we're gonna do is we gotta put our LED in. Here's my LED, I've got a short leg and a long leg. So my short leg needs to go on the copper tape strip that's closer to the wall. So I can just bend it so that my LED's kinda like sitting down. And I can widen those legs and then tape them down wherever I want on that copper rail. So I could bring it forward or bring it back, whatever I want, and I'm just going to take a piece of masking tape straight over the top. So actually, I think I'm gonna put it in first because I'm having a trouble reaching around through my box. I'm gonna put some tape on that and I can tape them down and make sure that the legs are touching the copper tape. If your legs aren't touching the copper tape of your LED, we don't have a complete circuit. All right, so I just taped in my LED like that. The short leg was the one closer to the wall and the long leg was the one further. All right, and then we can test it using this piece of copper tape. So we'll touch it to the top of the battery and then to the long rail. It's really hard for me to see, but there we go. I have a little light that lights up. 
which is beautiful. So I could tape in the side. I don't want to have to touch both pieces. I'm going to tape in this one right here so that when I want it on, I just touch the one piece. And then that guy will be pretty much ready. And I can shorten it so that it's not quite such a big item in there. And I'll just tape that guy on copper to copper. So I'm looking at the white side. So the copper pieces touch each other. And we'll just tape that on right here, just like this. We gotta make sure that that wire we tape on doesn't touch the sh other wire though. And now I have this nice little switch, which is beautiful. Now I'm ready to really start creating because now I can add in this piece and hide some of this. So I can add this in and then when I, it's all hidden, which makes it a little bit more magical if you ask me. And maybe I wanna glue this down. Maybe I don't want as much tape. I don't know, tape is pretty great though. I think I'm gonna go with tape. That feels a little bit easier. So I think I'm gonna go with that and I'll just, let's see. I'm gonna bring this out because I want it partly on this and then I'm gonna fold it up. So before you do that, yeah. can you take a look at your drawing mm -hmm. and match your drawing to the design that you've done? So oh you yeah, see. for sure. So I've got my magnets that are up here. I only have one so far and that's okay. I can do the other one later. Um, and then I have the string that is taped to the bottom that when I bring it up here, it hangs out. So I'm gonna end up putting a fairy on here. And if I wanna do another one, I can. I can just add another set of magnets with another string. And then I had a plan of doing this light up rock, which is this guy. So I have my LED in the back corner, way back in there. And then I've got the two parallel strips of copper tape and my battery, and I just have a nice little press button. So I sort of have all of like the big pieces in place, but I have none of the creative pieces in place. So I have sort of like the technical pieces, but none of the creativity yet. So that's what I'm gonna work on next, because I wanted that to be a rock. So I'm gonna add in this guy as my rock. And whatever sort of creative pieces you had planned, you can also do. And I think we should do a quick shout out to Orion. Hey, bud. Hello, Orion. I'm glad you're joining us today. So there we have this. And I'm just going to probably put a piece of tape right there, too. Tape can be a great tool. I'm just going to tape this little piece down right here so it's all nice and taped. And then I can check it. I think this is going to look amazing at night. I can already see it kind of coming out like a volcano but it's gonna twinkle in that rock, which I'm really excited about. So that's that part. Can you show it from your... Should we see it? See, can we see it through there? Can't really, we see it shine. oh yeah, a little bit. A little bit of twinkles. It's shining more that's in the back. That's what I want. I don't want too many twinkles. I want a little twinkles. Now, if this extra shiny, you're like, ah, I don't like that. You could totally, we could fix that. Like, let's say I did not want that. I could take a piece of paper maybe and just glue it up here. It could be like a puff top or a snowball on top. Who knows? You could do whatever. There's so many options here. You could decorate the flower behind that. You could decorate the flower behind it. Yeah, for sure. And you'll notice this keeps falling down and that's okay because I can keep putting it back up. Um, the problem that you'll maybe encounter is you don't want it to keep falling down, but it's sort of, that's, that's just the nature of it, right? If it gets too far away, it's gonna fall. And you just bring it back up, just like that, which is great. And then if you want if you want these magnets for something, you just take them, take them away with you, Doop, like that. But we can put it back up pretty easily. And now we just need to add our fairy onto this. All right, and the fairy is just gonna be a piece of paper. I don't wanna make something big and clunky on that because the magnet will have to work that much harder to hold it up. So whatever you put on this paper clip, I would suggest it being very, very light and pretty small. Um, and just to give you an idea on how that could work, I'm gonna draw a cute little fairy on this paper really fast. Let's get some markers out for my cute little fairy like this. She could have some draw so cute eyes like that. Mm -hmm. And maybe she's got a smile. She could have some curly hair. Maybe my fairies are unique, they're very different. Maybe they don't even have arms and legs, they just have like cute little skirts. Oh my gosh, she's so cute. I can't wait, and maybe, maybe we want wings. Like that. 
I don't know if I don't like it, I can always cut out a different one and make a different one. So it's not a big deal. And then I can cut this little girl out, a little fairy out I've got. She's so cute. Oh my gosh, I love her. Just like this. Mm -hmm. You can make them look like whatever you want. I have never met a fairy in real life, so I don't know what their true form looks like. Clara might be able to help me with that. And I can just tape this with a little piece of tape to the back. Like that. And I can hold it up. And there's my fairy hanging out. And now I have a lot to do about decorating. I have a whole lot of decorating to do because I have the main pieces in play, but this is not how I imagined it. I've got to add the grass. I want to add some coloring. I don't like the tape, so I'm going to cover that up. But I have most of it ready to go, and I could make my fairy even fly around. Say, la -da -da. Oops. What happens when we take our magnets off? We lose them, but that's okay, because again, we'll just oops, put them across our little guy again. And then put her back up, and she can fly around. Ooh, she is wanting to actually come up a little bit too high. So what I could do to fix that would be to actually make her string a little low, because she's really wanting to sort of jump up into those magnets. But that's okay. Now she's like backwards somehow. Maybe I add another piece. Or, <gasps> Naomi, what if we just twisted the string before you let it go? I mean, it wouldn't be exact somersaults. It would be like spins and twists. But that could be really cool. Ooh, I'm gonna spin it around, check it out. Here we go, ready? Look at that, you could make it spin if you just add some spinning to your thing beforehand. Not quite a somersault, but you could make some really cool circuits people spinning. You could like totally that. like take that string to the bottom mm -hmm. and attach it to, instead of like it is, you could attach it to like, um, Oh, something that does spin, it like does a little spin. motor. Yes, mm -hmm. that would be cool. Yeah, so that's another plan. Like, and I can really, I can really like get it going right here like that. There she goes. Oh, my fairy can do twirls. That makes my heart so happy right now. I can't even tell you. We needed to be like a tiny dancer fairy. <laughs> oh my gosh, why did I not think of tiny dancer fairies? Oh, I'm so sad now. Because that would have been great. But this is the basis of our project that we're doing today. So we have the magnets that are attracting the paper clip or the safety pin or whatever behind to make something float. And then we have just a really simple circuit to light something up. And then from there is total creativity. And I cannot wait to see our dragons and our monsters and our magical creatures and our heroes and our game system creatures and everything as we go over into Zoom. So I'm gonna check in with Evan and make sure there's no questions on our YouTube stuff. And if not, we're gonna head on over into Zoom for lunch and some amazing continuation of our creative building today. Do we have any questions? I don't see any questions <gasps> right now. Yay! But it is pretty instantaneous at this point. So if you have questions, just type them in real quick. Yeah, if you have questions, tuck them in there. And if not, we will say goodbye to our YouTube friends and hello to our Zoom friends in just a moment. I want to say next week is going to be all about paper circuits. We're going to creatively build all different pieces of a city that will glow for us. We'll great, make this great big model over the course of the week. And then after that, we're going to take the rest of June off and we'll see what we're up to for July and August as the rest of the summer comes into focus. But if you always want to keep updated, you can check us out over at patreon.com slash Rosie Research. Make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel. Check us out on Facebook and Instagram. And it sounds like we don't have any more questions. So we were going to say goodbye to our YouTube friends and hello to our Zoom friends. Have a great afternoon and a fantastic weekend. Georgia. So, it's so cool. Check this out, Georgia. 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 Come here. Georgia.